Oops. And that can destroy an engine? Oh, look at that. I don't know what that is. Or you might not even be able to get it started, but it builds pressure up in the tank and doesn't let any air in, so the fuel can't move into the carburetor. I've got an echo blower here that will start and run for a little while and then eventually die. Now I've worked on this blower before. I put a new carburetor on it, had it all adjusted. So let's go ahead, fuel it up, start it up, check it out, see if we can get it fixed. Now the homeowner's been using this and usually they put it on choke, put it on run, pull it a couple times, then go half choke, Kick a little bit, full choke again. So I had it running about maybe three minutes and you saw it finally just choked out. Now the first thing that might cross your mind is bad fuel, but I just put fresh fuel that I just bought in. The second thing is a clogged air filter and I'm sure the air filter is fine because I just cleaned it when I put a new carburetor on it and it looks good. Also, when I put a carburetor on it, I put a new air filter in it. So I don't think it's the air filter. I also put a new spark plug in it. So for some reason it's restricted. And the thing that comes to my mind is possibly the spark arrestor. So let's go ahead and take it into the shop and see if we can get that fixed. First thing I want to do is remove this pipe extension for the blower. Just a little clip here, put a screwdriver through there, push up on it, and it releases that, and you can pull that off. Next, we want to take the spark plug out. And it's still warm, so you want to be careful. If you're working on one that's still warm, that spark plug will be hot. It's burning all right. We'll pull the cover off, and our exhaust is right over here, so we need to get at that. That's why we're taking this cover off. It's a Torx bit. Take these off. cover slide right off. You want to be careful with your linkage here not to get that messed up. Leave it all in place. Here's our muffler and the spark arresters right underneath these plates. And one more at the bottom. And we're off. And here's our screen. And it looks good. Which surprises me. I thought there was a real good chance that could be the problem. These get clogged up. And then you have problems with it bogging down. It might just want to idle. So I'm going to go a little deeper and check the port 
where the exhaust comes out of the head. So I'll pull the muffler off. And we'll check this out. And it's clear. Looks good. And we'll check the piston. Looks good. Doesn't look scored. If you ran the wrong fuel in there, there could be vertical lines that you'd see on the piston, which means it got burned because you ran the wrong fuel in it. And that can destroy an engine. But this one looks okay. So that's not our problem. So let's go ahead and put this back together. I'll tell you what, even though this is a new plug, I'm going to go ahead, or four months old, I'm going to go ahead and throw a new plug in. And I've had it before, even a brand new plug out of the box didn't work. So let's try this one. Let's take it back outside, see what it does. Prime it. Choke on, start, choke halfway. Try adjusting the carburetor just a little bit. Got the low side on the inside and the high side on the outside. I'm going to turn the low side out just a quarter turn. again even though it hasn't been long maybe the carburetor got clogged up or gummed up let's pop that off real quick check it out well that's not pulling so good is it I don't know why that's not pulling fuel. There might be a clog in that carburetor. Oh! Look at that. I don't know what that is. Like glue or something? See that? Right there? Maybe that was getting in and gumming that up. Look at that thing. 
I don't know what that is. Right there. Was in on the side where the needle valve is. It could have been floating around in here and obstructed one of the ports. Check our screen. Oh, that's clear as a what? Clear as a bell. I think it was that piece of particle, that thing right there, floating around in there and plugging it up. Okay, let's put this back together and see if this little rascal was a culprit. Brand new carburetor, four months old. Must have been like a coating on the metal or something. Got caught in there. Let's go out and see if it was that piece of debris in the carburetor. Okay. We got a new spark plug. We've got a new carburetor, but we had to take it apart and we found debris in there that was gumming that up. And these aftermarket carburetors, uh, they're a little iffy. This machine isn't worth the cost of an OEM carburetor, so it's a little tough situation there. But we got that cleaned out. We checked the spark arrestor. That's okay, the piston's not scored, and the cylinder wall's not scored, so we're good there. And also when we clean the carburetor, we got the primer bulb working properly now. Now we'll go ahead and start it up, and see how she runs. The only thing that we haven't done is replaced the fuel vent. And what this is, is a one-way vent. It lets air in so that you don't create a vacuum in here. If these get blocked up, what happens is you get pressure build up in the tank and it can't draw fuel into the carburetor then. And I can see this is kind of black around here. So I'm going to go ahead get a new fuel vent we'll change that out and that should take care of any problems after it's running where it bogs down and eventually quits or you might not even be able to get it started but it builds pressure up in the tank and doesn't let any air in so the fuel can't move into the carburetor so let's pop this off and replace it with a new one well I know I need to get one of these fuel vents and so I went online looked it up and they're almost $10 for one, for this little piece of plastic. So I just wanted to point this out. If you get a little creative, for $10.80, I could get five fuel vents, plus five grommets, the fuel line sets, and five filters. Can always come in handy. So for a little bit more, if you're careful when you're ordering things, be creative when you're shopping online. Now let's pop one of these off, go out, install it, and see if our blower's all fixed. All right, we've done just about everything to this, but I'm gonna pull this out. There's a little clamp that goes on here. I like to push that out near the end and then push this in and then it locks it all in together. There you go. Otherwise it's a little hard to push these on afterwards. So we've got our new fuel vent in. Pop that back in place. Good. Now, like I said, we went through the fuel filter. We put a different carburetor on it and actually had to take this carburetor off, clean it because there was debris in there even though it was almost brand new. Put a new spark plug in it. We checked the spark arrestor, that's all clear. The cylinder and the piston are not scored, so those are in good shape. We fixed the prime bulb. 
which was gummed up because of the carb carburetor. That's priming well now. So we primed it, turn it on, choke it, and see if our problem's all taken care of. She's firing. Go to half choke. at full throttle. Now this is an aftermarket carburetor and the low side is responsive to adjustment, the high side not so much. But that's what you get with these aftermarket ones. Sometimes you get a good one, sometimes you don't. Uh-huh.